we've already looked at the electric field produced by a charge and superposition in that example, but I'll go over it again. But let me begin by reviewing the effect of an electric field on a charge. So the definition of an electric field is the force on a unit positive charge. Okay? So both magnitude and direction are obtained by taking, looking at all the other charges there, um, and saying, you know, it's the force on a unit positive charge. Units are Newton per coulomb or volts per meter. So if I have an electric field somewhere in space, and I put in an extra charge Q, the force felt by that charge is just charge Q times the electric field. So the example we talked about last time at the end of class was what happens if I have a charge placed in a constant electric field. In particular, we were looking at the effect of an electric field on a negative charge. Now, if it's the charge times the electric field and the charge is negative, it means the force on the charge is going to be in the opposite direction from that of the electric field. So if I had a positive charge over here, it would feel a force in the same direction as that of the electric field. So this is because there are two types of charges and they are attracted by the opposite type of charge and repelled by the um, same type of charge. So if you have trouble understanding this, think of what would happen if I were producing an electric field due to a charge. So if I had a positive charge, it would produce an electric field in this direction. That would mean if I put another positive charge here, it would feel a force in that direction. It would be repelled. But if I had a positive charge and it produced an electric field in this direction, if I, if I put a negative charge here, the force on the negative charge would be attracted to the positive charge. So it would be opposite the direction of the electric field. So it's the same idea. Now what I'm doing in this lower example, what's different from what I've drawn up here, is to say I haven't told you what's produced the electric field. Something has produced the electric field, and it all I know is that it's constant everywhere and it points to the right. So then I'm looking at the effect of that electric field on a charge placed in it.